Hi everybody, I'm here to talk about QSync, which is QNAP's newest feature of the all-new QTS 4.0. QSync acts as your personal Dropbox and defines owning your own personal cloud. You will not have any limitations in terms of capacity, and you can gain full access of all of your files, even your sensitive or private files. With QSync, users can easily sync and collaborate data among different platforms and devices, such as your mobile phones, tablets, and PC. With a shared folder, your destined users can see the files that you let them see, and you can also limit their access rights to read, write, or both. Also, it is a great tool for users to enjoy the same document or files at different locations. QSync makes the NAS to become a fully functioning central storage that allows users to create team folders and sync in real time with teammates, colleagues, and friends. Instead of sending large files via email, NAS users can now enjoy sending direct links to teammates, friends, and family to download or view right away. Now for the live demo. Right now, I'm at the QTS desktop. After you log in, QSync is right over here and click it, then enable it. Let's go over all the functionalities of this overview page. There is the QSync utility download link for PC and Mac. After you click it, it will start downloading the software right onto your PC. There is also a QR code for you to download the software onto your iOS and Android devices, such as your smartphones or your tablets. Then there is a link to manage your QSync using FileStation. After all of that, there are more options on the left side. Users. It allows you to enable the user's access rights alongside with the search function to find local users or domain users. With that, you can also see the related information of the users, such as their online status, quota, or data location. In the Devices tab, you can see all of the devices that are using QSync with a particular NAS. One user may have two or more devices, and users can link or unlink the devices right away. This also shows you all of the information about the devices, such as your IP, connection status, connection history as well. Event Logs shows you all the detailed logs and record of QSync users and its activities. You can also search the detailed activities within the search bar. Team Folder will show you the entire QSync shared folder, which has been shared by different QSync users. So you see, Share 1 is the only folder that is being shared. Lastly, the Shared File Links tab will show you all the shared files and links the users have previously created and shared. So notice that the QSync app on the QTS desktop is a more administrative view and management tool to keep track of QSync and its activities. After downloading QSync from the QTS desktop, a QSync folder will pop up in your computer. Now I'm going to drag a file that is very big to my QSync folder on my PC. While it's syncing, you will see on the right bottom corner and when you click on the QSync icon, you will see that it's syncing in real time. After the sync finishes, you can see in the file station that the file has appeared in the QSync folder. And now I'm going to do a quick demo on the file browser. I'll right click and select QSync, then select Sync with NAS All Files Now. I can then select a folder and share it with another QSync user, and it will allow me to pick who I want to share it with. Notice if it's a shared folder, there will be a blue icon next to the folder name. Then I will share this file as a link. Right click and select share link. Enter in the email you want to set it to and hit the create email button. Then the link tab will allow you to copy the link to the clipboard and you can paste it to anyone you want. Now I'm going to show you the QSync system menu quick function key. I can quickly access QSync with the icon on the right bottom corner and also view all the files in the file station with one click. Then I can right click and select sharing and file upload center. In this shortcut, it will allow me to copy share links or even delete it. There is also a log that shows all the list of folders and files being updated from the NAS to the computers or the mobile devices. Right click again, you can also see the recently updated change files, so you can be updated with the files your teammates have altered and made changes to. It also lets you pause syncing and sync with NAS now along with the preferences and help center. The general settings will let you log in or log out of your QSync device. 
And also, it will let you see all your shared center, file update center, and view files by the web browser. The Sync tab will allow you to select the ways you want to sync your files and folders. For Selective Sync, it will allow you to select the particular folder you want to sync at all times. The checkbox is a feature called Smart Sync, which lets you delete the files on your local QSync folder, which saves your space on your computer. But the NAS will always keep a copy and not be deleted. For the policy settings, you can set on your conflict settings, sharing settings, and filter settings. The email preferences is very simple and you can just simply edit your email and the advanced settings will allow you to import your photos and videos right away. You can set your emails here. The advanced settings lets you set preferences to the media you would like to set and import automatically. You can also set your language preference over here and be sure to save it before you exit. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this video about QSync and please feel free to comment or ask me questions. Thank you so much.